I will miss him. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I call Jim Allister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will readily confess to this House. I still have difficulty processing the shock of the passing of Christopher Stalford, and I know there are many members of this House who are in exactly that place. But if that's the place we are in, it pales into total insignificance compared to the devastation that undoubtedly his beloved wife, Laura, and his beautiful children are experiencing. And I want to begin by expressing to them the sincerest of sympathies on their unspeakable loss, and to his party for their loss too. And maybe some, a group that are sometimes overlooked in circumstances like this, to his constituency staff, who will equally have an aching void today over what has happened. And so to all those people, I wish to express my condolences of myself and my party on the passing of Christopher. Christopher is someone I've known for nigh two decades. He came to work for me. I think it was his first job after university when I was the MEP. And he came and worked in my Belfast office for two to three years. And it was evident to me that he had the ability and the talent which would make him the politician that he was. And though our political perspectives diverged, I am pleased to say that we retained a friendship and the respect which lasted down all those years. And uh, I think back to attending his wedding, and now I think of the family that has left. And it, it is very, very hard, I have no doubt, for all affected. Christopher came to this house, and in many ways he was a breath of fresh air, because he brought a tremendous respect for tradition, parliamentary tradition, but at the same time a great ability, which he demonstrated, and his capacity as an or orator and as someone who could make a point and make it effectively, way above the standard generally prevailing in this House, was very striking. And then when he took the position of Principal Deputy Speaker, he performed that with such skill and aplomb that I think he won friends and respect across this House and well mighty. So we are in a pe period today of great loss. This House is much the poorer for the passing of uh, Christopher Stalford. His memory, I have no doubt, will live long in this place, and so it should. But our thoughts have to be concentrated with his beloved family, his wife, his children, his mother, and his sister, who undoubtedly are grieving in manners we can only begin to understand. May the God of all comfort be with them at this time and the future time, which will be difficult for many years to come. And I do pray and trust that they will know that comfort. Christopher's passing, of course, is a reminder of the mortality of us all and that the place that knows us today, tomorrow, will know us no more. I thank the member and I call Jerry Carl. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to offer my condolences and my party condolences to uh, the family of Christopher Stalford. 